Hello, today I want to do a video with layering combination ideas for since they're available at SAS. I had someone in my comments ask me if I would do this and I thought it would be really fun. So usually my layering combination videos are just since I wore the previous month, ones that I had, you know, time to test out and stuff. But this time I actually got to like play around with things in my collection in the lab, which is my office because that's where all my stuff is. It was just really fun. So I picked 10 cents. These are the 10 that I actually purchased from SAS. There are other ones available, but since I didn't pick them up, I didn't want to do layering combinations for them. I decided to pick three perfumes that I would wear with each fragrance mist, and we'll go ahead and we'll get started. So the first mist that I have is Vanilla Be Noel. This one is a classic. It comes back every year. Some years it smells great, some years it doesn't, but this year, luckily, it does smell really nice. It has scent notes of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kiss musk. So this is a classic scent. It smells really sweet, vanilla, smells like cookies. It's absolutely delicious. And honestly, you could probably wear this with anything and it would smell really good. But since I'm a gourmand type of girl, I wanted to play into that. So all the perfumes that I chose are gourmand. The first scent that I chose is Dolce by Rosie Jane. So I've talked about this perfume quite a bit. It is like a vanilla ice cream type of scent. It's not a scent I love to wear on its own, but I do like to layer it with things. And I think it would be absolutely amazing with Vanilla Bean Noel. It would give it more like vanilla creaminess. And I think it'd be really, really good. Next up, I chose Choco Musk. So this is like a chocolate vanilla fragrance and it's super affordable. I think you can find it for like nine or $10 on Amazon. And it is such a good fragrance. If you are a gourmand person, like this is the fragrance for you. The longer it sits, the better it smells. And I think it would be really, really nice with Vanilla Bean Noel. The last scent that I chose is Bianco Latte. So I have the dapper version. If you have the original or maybe there's other dupes out there, I don't know. But either one of them will be absolutely amazing. So this is like the most beast mode, caramel, lactonic, vanilla sweet fragrance. I absolutely love it. It is so, so good. And it'll like give Vanilla Bean Noel that kick that it needs to be as delicious as it's supposed to be. Like, I think this would be perfection together. Next up is Jolly Gingerbread Village. So this one has sit notes of golden gingerbread, vanilla icicles, and yuletide timber. So a lot of people don't like this scent, but I actually really love it. I don't really smell the timber in it. To me, it's mostly just sweet gingerbread, and I really, really like this one. So the first scent that I chose is Skylar's Vanilla Sky. So this is a vanilla cappuccino scent, but it also has woods in it. So it's not just like super sweet gourmand. And I think it pairs really well with Jolly Gingerbread Village because it's not a super sweet gourmand either. But like the spiciness and the vanilla, like I think it just go really, really good together. So next up, this is kind of an obvious pairing. This is Dapper's version of Joe Malone's Ginger Biscuit. These smell pretty much spot on to each other. So if you want just a little more oomph, a little more kick, a little more lasting power, definitely pair these two together. So my last pick is Princess by Killian. So this is like a ginger marshmallow scent and it goes so well together. Like I was obsessed with this when I sprayed this on my arm. Like I can't wait to wear these two together. So Princess is like a sweet, spicy kind of scent and it goes so well with this. Like I think it gives Jolly Gingerbread Village the more sweetness that people want from it like i think this one is really really good together next scent that i chose is sun washed citrus this has scent notes of sugared lemons mandarin and agave nectar it is just a super strong citrus but it's sweet and it's just one that i really really enjoy i really wanted to sweeten up the citrus that's in sun washed citrus because it is sweet but i think it could be sweeter because everything could be sweeter and so I chose Finery's Magnetic Candy, which to me smells like citrus cotton candy. It is such a fun scent. I don't have anything else like it in my collection. And I, I just adore it. So I thought this would go really nice together. Sunwash Citrus is a beast though. So like you can't overspray it or you will totally drown out anything else that you spray with it. <laughs> my next pick is Dapper's Acro Bake. So this smells just like a lemon cupcake. I love this scent. It is citrusy but it's sweet it's definitely a gourmand and i absolutely love it and so i thought this would pair really well because like i said i really wanted to sweeten up that sun wash citrus and this will do that my last pick is lolita land by lolita limpica so to me this is like a creamsicle scent it smells like orange and vanilla but it's really thick it's like a heavy heavy fragrance so i figured that sun wash citrus would kind of break it up a little bit and not make it feel so heavy 
I just, I really think they'll go well together though, because it'll give that sweetness, the sunwashed citrus that I want, but then it'll also kind of mellow out the Lolita land. Next up is golden berry mistletoe. So the sit notes on this are sparkling berries, sugared spruce, and frosted air. What I smell the most are the berries, and that's what I wanted to play up the most also, because it's my favorite part of the fragrance. Like, I don't want to really smell like a spruce tree, and I don't even know what frosted air is. So that's what I was going for. My first pick is Tea's Coco Soiree by Victoria's Secret. So this is a fragrance that I absolutely love, and it is very heavy, but then it has like the cocoa in it, and it's just beautiful. I think this goes really nice together. I actually sprayed this together on my arm, and I was loving it. Because golden berry mistletoe is a little bit hard to pair, in my opinion. So I thought this one was a spectacular discovery. Next up, I went with Kaeli's Vanilla 28. So as you can see, my bottle is very well aged. My juice is super dark. And that means that it smells super sweet. And it lasts a long time. And it is very vanilla. It is absolutely delicious. And I think it pairs really well with this. Like it will like kind of just make this a little bit more creamy. A little bit more subtle not so sharp on the berries like i think it'll just be a really nice mix so my last pick i went with my pepe jeans so this is just like a marshmallowy sweet kind of scent and again i kind of just wanted to like tone down the sharpness of the berries and i think this would go really nice this is a super affordable perfume the bottle's really cool and it's easy to find so i went ahead and went with this one i mean you could use ari by ariana grande any of those would kind of give you the same vibe next up is one of my favorites this is among the clouds scent notes are wild berry skies and vanilla clouds smells just like sweet berries i love the scent it's like cotton candy sweet it is absolutely delicious much like vanilla bean noel i think you could pair this one with pretty much anything also and it would smell fantastic so the first one that i chose is boardwalk delight by skylar this is a scent that i absolutely adore it smells like raspberry cotton candy with a little bit of coconut. It is so sweet. And it just mixes so well with the berries and the vanilla that's in Among the Clouds. So next I went with my Raspberry Ice Cream Sorbet by Dua. So this is my favorite Dua fragrance. I absolutely love this one. It smells just like a sweet, creamy raspberry. It is so good. And I think it would go amazing with Among the Clouds. So for my last pick, I went with Love Don't Be Shy by Killian because I love her. She is marshmallowy and sweet and just so, so pretty. So mixed together with the berries and among the clouds, like I think this would be such a pretty scent, like super feminine and girly and sweet and just so, so nice. Next up is Dream Bright. I love this scent. It is so pretty. It has scent notes of sapphire berries, night blooming orchid and crystallized vanilla. So it's like sweet and berries, but it's perfumey and it's kind of dark. Like it's just beautiful. Like I love this one. The first perfume that I wanted to use is Signorino Misteriosa by Salvatore Ferragamo. So this is a really sweet like cotton candy berry scent, but it has like more to it. It's not just like sweet and playful, like it has like some florals and it's just really pretty. It's a gorgeous scent. It's really strong. Like I feel like this is really long lasting and I thought it would pair really nice with Dream Bright. Kind of make it a little bit more sweet because I do feel that the perfume of Dream Bright is sweeter than the actual body care. So I think this one will go really nice together. Next up, I went with Black Opium's Le Parfum, which is one of my favorite perfumes ever. It is just vanilla with like some floral. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is so warm and sweet and I just love it. So I figured it would pair really nice with the berries and the vanilla that's already in Dream Bright. My last pick is Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. This is a perfume I've talked about a lot because I absolutely just love it. It's like a berry, sweet, floral, but like the berries are dark berries. And I feel like they're the same ones that are in Dream Bright. So I think this would be a really good match. The next scent is Bright Christmas Morning. Their scent notes are ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. So this is just like a fruit bomb. Like this is so strong and it's just super sweet fruit. And I love it. It's definitely not like a Christmas scent. You can wear this whenever you want and it would be just fine. I really like this one. This is really fun. So my first pick for Bright Christmas Morning is Kaeli's Eden Juicy Apple. So this one is just basically a fruit bomb also. It is apples and berries. It's sweet. It's fun. It's light. It's easy to wear. Like I think these would just go really nice together. They would complement each other really well. Next, I went with Dazzle by Paris Hilton. So this is like a bubbly, 
peachy, fruity, sweet scent. Like I thought this would be really fun together, kind of add some bubbliness to it, a little bit more perfuminess because there is a little bit of patchouli in the base of this. So it's not just like fruity and sweet, like there's a little bit more to it. So I thought this would be fun together. So my last pick for Bright Christmas Morning, I went with my Jusette a la Vanille. This is the dapper version. So to me, this is just like a really sweet, like candy-like vanilla, and I absolutely love it. And I thought it would go really nice with the fruits that are in Bright Christmas Morning, kind of make it like a fruit punch kind of smell. I think this would be really good. Next up is one of my favorites. This is Strawberry Snowflakes. She has scent notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and ice bergamot. And that's exactly what she smells like, just a sweet, creamy strawberry and like that bergamot makes it feel kind of cold like she's beautiful the first perfume that i picked is sabrina carpenter's sweet tooth and this smells exactly like what you would think it smells like it's just really sweet kind of vanilla i think some people say they smell chocolate in it i don't really smell chocolate but to me it's just a really sweet kind of airy vanilla and i really like it and so together with strawberry snowflakes it totally made like a strawberry cupcake type of feel and i really enjoyed it so next up is Burberry Her Elixir. So this is like a strawberry and cream type of scent. It's very, but it's grown up. Like it has perfume in it. It's very sweet. It's just really pretty. It has really great lasting power. So I feel like together with strawberry snowflakes, this would be like a grown up version of like strawberries and cream. And I think it'd be really, really pretty. My last pick is Pink Cloud by Ariana Grande. So the opening of this is like super sweet berries, like cotton candy. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the opening. The dry down is basically smells like cloud, but I still think it would go nice with strawberry snowflakes because the opening would be like perfect together. And then, you know, cloud, it goes with everything. So I think it would be nice with strawberry snowflakes. Next up is Carried Away. So this is a sweet, fruity floral. I really like this one. I think it's really, really pretty. It has scent notes of lush raspberries, juicy pear nectar, white jasmine, and whipped vanilla. My first pick is La Vie Es Belle Intense Mint. So I don't know if they still sell this one, but to me, this is the best out of all the ones that I have. It has raspberry in it, which I'm just a sucker for raspberries, I'm telling you. And this one is sweeter, and I don't feel like I smell the patchouli as much in this one. And I really like this version of it. It's my favorite out of all the ones that I have. And I think it would just go beautifully with Carried Away. My next pick is Oh So Sexy by Victoria's Secret. So this is just like a fruity whipped cream sweet scent. It's beautiful. It goes with anything. It would just be really nice with Carried Away, which is already sweet. I think it'd just be good together. My last pick is Beyond Romance by Ralph Lauren. So this is a Fruity floral fragrance, but it has raspberry in it, just like Carried Away does. And I think they go really beautifully together. So next up is Snowflakes and Cashmere. So this is a scent that they bring back pretty much all the time. It has set notes of vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. So to me, this is like a really simple scent. It smells really nice. It's like warm and sweet, but not too sweet. Like it's not a gourmand scent, but it's just really pretty. Like it's not something that would offend anybody. I just really like this one. It's pretty simple. The first perfume that I chose was Eilish by Billie Eilish because she's just a wonderful perfume. She's a sweet kind of spicy vanilla. I just think it would go really nice with snowflakes and cashmere. So my next pick is Mod Vanilla by Ariana Grande. So this smells like cloud, what with vanilla added to it, but it's not a gourmand scent. It's just like a sweeter vanilla scent. So like if you wanted to go just like vanilla, but not gourmand vanilla. Like the Eilish would be more gourmand, but this one's just not. And it's just kind of sweet, kind of pretty, kind of perfumey. So my last pick is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. So this is a perfume that's pretty easy to find. It's relatively inexpensive and it smells really nice. It's kind of like a florally caramel scent. So it's like sweet, but it's not really that gourmand. So like, again, like if you wanted to add something to it to make it a little bit more perfumey, but sweeten it up, like I think this would go really nice together. The next scent is Forever Sunshine. So this one has set notes of golden apricot, pink peonies, vanilla musk, and a hint of praline. So this is a sweet floral, but to me this one is pretty heavy on the floral. So I definitely want to sweeten this one up when I wear it. The first scent that I chose is Victoria's Secret's Bombshell Glamour. This is the latest release in their bombshell line. This one is like a peach floral. It's really pretty though. It's sweet, and I thought that the peach and the apricot would play nice together. 
My next pick, this is a perfume that I got from the oil bar. The scent is Honeydew Melon. And this one smells a lot like Summer Melody. So if you don't have this one, you could obviously just use Summer Melody. It would pretty much do the same thing. It's just going to sweeten this up and kind of maybe drown out the florals that are in here. Give it more sweetness that I wish it had. So my last pick is Dolce & Gabbana's Devotion. This is a citrus floral vanilla scent. I don't love the opening of this because I feel like the floral is really screechy in the beginning, but the dry down makes it all worth it. Like that is the best part. And so that gives you like a sweet, creamy vanilla citrus and it goes well with the Forever Sunshine. It kind of drowns out that floral because this one is so freaking strong. So last but not least, we have Winterberry Wonder. This one has scent notes of ruby frost winterberry, sparkling cranberry, and crystal vanilla. It is just a sweet berry scent. I love this one. Obviously, it's marketed towards the winter, but you can wear this whenever you want. It's really, really pretty. And I think it would mix well with pretty much any berry scent. The first perfume that I went with was Escada's Party Love. This is their newest release. This is like a vanilla cherry cupcake scent. It's really pretty. It's really sweet. And I think it would just go really nice together. Next scent that I chose is the new Valentino Donna Bornaroma Pink PP. So to me, this is just a super sweet version of Donna Bornaroma. Absolutely love it. It's stunning from the get-go. And I think the Winterberry Wonder would just kind of add some more fruitiness to it because Donna Bornaroma doesn't have a lot of fruitiness, but we can add some and make it even better. The last scent that I decided to choose is Yara by Latafa. So to me, this is like a powdery strawberry scent it's really sweet it's really nice it's really feminine and pretty and i think it would just go really nice with winterberry wonder because that one's also just like a berry heavy scent it could be really good so this is all my layering ideas for the scents that are available at winter sas let me know what are some of the ones you plan to pair together thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one thanks bye